Welcome to Retro Upgrade. Are your kids toys driving you nuts? Is your head about to explode? <laughs> Retro Upgrade has the solution for you. Just follow these three easy steps and a grand total of 10 cents of materials and you can keep your sanity. Warning, this is going to be loud. This is the before. And this is the after. Much better. Okay. First you need to disassemble. Uh, it's just a lot of screws on this toy. Could be glue on some toys, so keep that in mind. This procedure should work on any toy that has a speaker. You just have to locate the speaker. In this case, there is only one speaker in the toy, even if it has two speaker holes. This is what we'll be using. It's a potentiometer. I want to briefly mention how this works. We'll ignore the math for the moment and just check the diagram. So a voltage divider is what we'll be using. It uses an input, two resistors, a center pin for the output and a ground connection. The difference between the resistances makes the output variable. I'll try to explain this as clearly as possible. This is a variable resistor or a potentiometer. As you can see, it has a voltage input, two resistances, an output and a ground connection. The two resistances are made up of the two sides of the center pin. So before and after the center pin. And if we move it, we have a different resistance compared to the other one. So we get a different voltage output. This is how we'll be controlling the volume. I'm using one of these cheap testers to just check the resistance value of this potentiometer. In this case it's a 20k potentiometer. It's not really 20k but then they have some tolerance for error. But it shows two resistances connected with three pins. Exactly as the diagram for the voltage divider. So essentially uh, Potentiometer is a voltage divider. I recommend using the low value ones instead of the 20k one I used. If you're going to install it externally, use one of these instead. If you use a low value one, it's a lot easier to dial in the volume. But it still works with a high value one. Start by desoldering the red wire from the speaker. Use some fresh solder if you are having issues desoldering. Flux up the pins you are going to solder to. In this case I am using the right one. Here I am soldering the output wire from the piano that goes to the speaker normally to the first leg of the potentiometer. The middle pin is soldered so it goes to the speaker and the last leg goes to the output of the speaker, in this case the black wire on the speaker. If you want an easier time doing this, buy a little bigger potentiometer, it's a lot less fiddly and still work. I can tell that if you have the space in the toy. You can see I'm shaking quite a lot. It's it's smaller than it looks. <laughs> a pair of helping hands helps a lot here. So the the way this is connected up is the input from the piano goes to the potentiometer. The middle pin from the potentiometer goes to the positive side of the speaker in where the red wire was. And the brown wire I connected for the potentiometer goes directly to the black side of the speaker wire. 
you keep the black speaker wire where it is and put the extra brown wire or the last pin ground wire from the potentiometer. I hope this makes sense. Uh, watch back the animation I made. You should be able to figure it out that way. I'm just heating up the negative side and put it on I'm putting on some new solder and putting on the brown wire with the black wire so essentially connecting the brown wire to ground as is needed for a voltage divider there we go now you just need to dial it in I usually screw it towards the red wire, uh, the input wire, so it, it's on max volume, and then dial it back from there until you're satisfied. Put it in some fresh batteries. I'm going to start pressing the buttons and then adjusting the potentiometer as I go. I'm spinning it too far so there is no sound at all. You should go towards the right, uh, the red side first and then go to the black side. There is a faint sound but you can't hear it on camera unfortunately. I spin, uh, spun it too much uh, towards the ground side. It's because I'm using a 20k pot instead of a 1k or a 100 ohm one. It's a lot harder. I put on the automatic play button and started uh, dialing it in. It's a lot easier that way. I don't have to keep pressing buttons. A quick reassemble just to check the volume. My great piano skills here. I'm trying out the volume control, but it doesn't work at all. Guess from what game that is. Okay, I'm putting it together now. Yeah, I'm satisfied with the volume. It's like uh, it's a quarter of what it was, so uh, at max volume, so it's it's bearable now. And I I'm not going to go nuts when the kid uses it for hours on end. Sorry for the delayed video. I've been busy with other stuff. Thanks to all the new subscribers that have subscribed recently. I have a few videos in the works, but uh, I'm still waiting for spare parts. Deliveries from China take a while. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and subscribe. Bye.